Today we're going to estimate the equations of lines that best fit and use them to make predictions. So once again, we're looking at uh, we're looking at estimating the line of best fit. Here's a, a an eyeball of the line of best fit right here through this data, and we're going to estimate the equation from this based on what we've got, um, and we're going to make some predictions on it. So let's let's take a look at the question. Daniel wants to predict how far he can hike based on the time he spends on the hike. He collected some data on the time in hours and distance in kilometers of some of his previous hikes. A line was fit to the data to model the relationship. And here we have it here. This is the amount of time he spent on the hike, and this is the amount of distance that he covered. So each one of these data points is a hike that he had. So you've got a two-hour hike, and he covered four and a half, he covered five miles. You've got a an almost three-hour hike, he covered um, he covered eight miles. You've got a four-hour hike, and he covered uh, nine and a half miles, and and so on. Um, and what we've done here is that we've we've got a line of best fit through this data right here. Now. We're being asked which which of the equations describes the model first of all. So we've got some equations to go by here, which is nice. And based on that, we're being asked uh, to estimate the distance that Daniel can hike in six hours. So we do have to use the equation that we that we've selected to to estimate the distance. So let's take a look at what we've got. Um, based on this here, if we were to choose, say, two points on this line and it's it's uh, there's there aren't many points that we can really select well here. Um, we can we can ballpark it as saying well, okay, we've got about right here. We've got about right here. That's the point uh, two point seven five say two point seven five seven. That's that point right there. And another point on the line, well, we could actually choose one of the points we've actually been given. Look at that. Let's choose this point right here. And this point that we've actually been given, I'm going to color it a different color so we can see it. So these are the two points we're choosing. This point we've actually been given is the point 4. And this is 4. 9.5. So we've got the point 49.5 as well. Now, this is probably going to be a far more accurate slope than e any of the equations gives up us below. But recall that the slope is the change in y over the change in x, which is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And looking at these two points here, where this is our first point, this is our second point, this is our x value, and this is our y value. Okay, So we can go, okay, well y2 is 9.5, y1 is 7, x2 is 4, and x1 is 2.75. So 9.5 minus 7 is 2.5. And 4 minus 2.75 is 1.25. OK, so we're not quite, I mean, if we, if we look down here, we can see, well, that none of the slopes are, the, the slopes are a lot simpler than that. It's like the slopes of are 1 and 2 respectively. So, well, 1 and 2 respectively, we could, we could kind of, we can actually say, well, we're not going to deal with any of these um, these these decimal points, and that's going to give us a slope of two, and that's probably accurate enough, given that was a 0.5 and that was a 0.2, 0.25. So we're going to say this is a slope of two, okay? This is a slope of two, which immediately gives us either C or A, and a y-intercept. Let's take a look at the y-intercept. Well, we can see the y-intercept there somewhere around about 1.5 ish. There, are thereabouts. So around about 1.5, and we can see and it is positive. So that gives us this equation here: the slope is two, the y-intercept is 1.5. So there you have it. Um, and a lot of this you could probably figure out quite quickly without without doing the calculations. But I am showing you the calculations as we go along. Okay. So here's our equation: y equals 2x plus 1.5. And what's the distance Daniel can hike in six hours? So what we have to do here is we have to take our equation, y equals 2x plus 
So our equation y equals 2x plus 1.5. And we need to plug in the value x based on the six hours that we have here. So the distance Daniel can hike in six hours. And we have so we have to plug in six hours into our equation. So that's giving us that's giving us therefore um, y equals six times two is twelve plus one point five equals 13.5. So we're saying the distance here therefore is around about 13.5 uh, kilometers and that makes a lot of sense. Look, 6, if you go up on this on this axis here to 6, you get to around about here. There's about 13.5, isn't it? Okay, so you can eyeball this as well. Um, and we're being told to answer to the nearest tenth, well, 13.5. And that's kind of um, giving you know, the nearest tenth is if you used other points that gave you some other slope um, that might not be quite as accurate as what we got. Um, so there you have it.